It's an Albuquerque staple known for its energetic fans during Lobo basketball games. Despite stints of controversy, the pit, now called Dreamstyle Arena, has a more than 50-year history. As News 13's Fernanda Lopez shows us, one local sports reporter is making sure it's well documented. It's more like a scrapbook, I like to think of it, some of the highlights. Local sports reporter Gary Heron has countless memories at the pit. I have a lot of memorabilia and stuff because I save all my programs, ticket stubs, everything. So I had a lot to work with. Plus, I've been going to games in the pit since 75, taking photos. Five decades of Lobo and high school basketball, concerts, graduations, rodeo invitationals, and other events are chronicled in his new book, 50 Years at the Pit. Sunk it in the ground. It's a place to go and enjoy sports and so many other activities, and here's some of the highlights of that 50 years. It's a walk down memory lane starting way back. There's a lot on how the pit was built, the, the Bob King years, and they had the Lobo basketball became so popular, they had to move from Johnson Gym to the pit. It also features the stories of the coaches who have stood on the court. The Ellenberger days, the Colson days, the Day Bliss days. Right. Right up through the uh, the 50th season. While Heron says Lobo in high school basketball stands out in the minds of many locals. That big UNLV game that, that drew 18,000, 18 fans in 76. The 83 Final Four is in a lot of people's memories. The pit has played host to a variety of other events over the decades. My favorite thing to see there is the Timer Invitational. That's the most exciting thing I see. Former players, coaches, and others also share their favorite memories at the pit throughout the book. And hopefully people enjoy the book and seeing some of their memories uh, on those pages. Fernanda Lopez, KRQE News 13. 50 Years of the Pit is available on Amazon. People will also be able to find it at a number of local bookstores.